All right, here's our powder bathroom before. Gray walls, gray ceilings. Basically, it's a bathroom. Oh, it's gotta be fix it. All right, look, so we got the tear out done in this bathroom. With all the trim. Go ahead and tear out the caulk on the toilet too, while you're at it. Now look, it looks kind of rough. Don't let it freak you out. This is usually the point where your wife goes, Oh God, do you know what you're doing? Are you gonna be able to fix this? Calm down. Everything's gonna be covered by the trim. Now we did get a curve ball over here. The uh, tile has a bigger than a three quarter of an inch gap. So I'm gonna have to re-grout that line because I don't want to caulk this baseboard to the tile. But it's gonna turn out okay. Relax. All right, so the wife comes in, she looks around and goes, oh my God, what the fuck have we done? And in the back of your mind, you're thinking, shit, I don't know. Am I gonna be able to fix this? But here's what you do. You look her right in the eye and you say, hey, no turning back now. You know, that's what you tell yourself. Having some doubts on the projects? No turning back, you already tore it out. Start putting it back. Check it out, I like to do these uh, two side pieces first on the door, then you fit your top piece. If you don't have one of these DeWalt guns, you're effing crazy, because this thing is amazing. Check it out, we got the door in. I always try to do the, for the door first, to give you a little confidence. Now I had to rip this board over here because it was only three inches of space but that's what they make caulking for. So again, don't freak out. It'll look good when you're done. I also like to do the door because you got an easy edge right here, and you got an easy edge right here, and you only got to angle those over there in the corner. You can do it.